in the last video we have created this lr1 automaton and clr parsing table now in this video we will convert this parsing table to lalr parsing table lalr parsing table has significantly less entries as compared to clr parsing table in fact, LALR parsing table has the same size as SLR parsing table. So that's why LALR is much faster as compared to CLR. However, CLR accepts a larger number of grammars, whereas it's possible that while converting this parsing table from CLR to LALR, we have shift reduce or reduce reduce conflict. So this grammar might be CLR grammar, but might not be LALR grammar. Let's check. So first step is that we identify all the states which are same, except their look ahead symbols. For example, these two states are the same because they have same productions, but their look ahead symbols are different. So we will combine these two states in our table. So let's first mark them. I have to combine 3 with 7. So I have to combine state 3 with state 7 because they are the same state except their look ahead symbols. Similarly, state 9 and state 8 are the same state except their look ahead symbol. So I have to combine state 8 and state 9. Similarly, state 4 and state 6 are same if we ignore their look ahead symbols. So I have to combine 6 and 4. So let's mark them. So I have to combine 4 and 6. So all the states that I have to combine have been marked. So basically I have to combine 4 with 6, 3 with 7 and 8 with 9. When I will combine these states or merge these states then their action will also be merged. However, if I have a reduce a reduced conflict that means a single cell have two reduced instructions then that's a problem and if I have shift reduced conflict that means a single cell has a shift and a reduced instruction that is a problem otherwise I can merge all of those states so let's start by merging these two states so I will create a new state with the name 4 6 while merging 4 and 6 Let's write that state over here. So my new state is 4, 6. I will remove state 4 and I will remove state 6. So my state 6 is removed. And here I will merge both of those shift. I will create a new shift instruction which is shift 4, 6. And this shift refers to my new state is 4, 6. So it's saying shift to state 4, 6, which I have just created. And then I will also merge these two shift instruction, creating a new shift instruction, shift 3, 7. So this shift is referring to a new state that I will create by merging these two states later on. And because I have here 8, I have 8 here and 9 here. So I will also merge these two go to instructions, creating here 8, 9 go to instruction. So that's my new state 4, 6, which has both of those states actions. And I don't have any conflict here because I have although merged two shift actions together, but that's okay. I can't merge shift with reduce or to reduce actions that I have not done 
So this is fine. I have no conflict. I will continue by merging my other states. So I have to merge 3 and 7. Once again, let's remove 7 from here. And in 3, instead of 3, I will write my new state name, which is 3, 7. Nothing to merge here. R3 is fine. I will merge these two. So R3 is fine. Here I will have R3 because I have R3 in 7 and I have empty cell in 3. When I will merge them, I will get R3 and this is fine. No conflict so far. And we have empty go to part. So I have successfully merged state 3 and state 7, creating a new state 3, 7. So let's clear some of the table that I don't need anymore. So I don't need this row. I don't need this row. Next, I have to combine 8 and 9. Let's combine 8 and 9 by creating a new state here. 8, 9. In state 9, I have reduced to where this is the empty cell. So I will merge both of those cells writing here R2. I will merge both of those cells writing here R2. And then I will merge both of those cells writing here R2. The go to portion of both of these states are empty. So I will have empty go to portion here. And that's it. This is my new parsing table, which has instead of 10 states, only 7 states. My LALR table has 7 states in it as compared to my CLR table that has 10 states in it. And while creating that table, once again, I have to make sure that there is no conflict. And I could have either reduce reduce conflict or shift reduce conflict. I can't combine two reduce instructions or a shift reduce instruction. So I don't have any such conflict in this table. Therefore, I can say that this grammar is LALR grammar. And that's it. That is what LALR parsing is. We just have to first create CLR parsing table and then we have to merge rows. If those rows represent same state, ignoring look at symbols. And if we don't have any conflict, then we have our LALR table.